Somewhere between the edge of being alive and feeling dead All right guys, so got the F-150 Lightning. We are at 96% charge. It says 453 kilometers of range. I tried to use a navigation system, but because it's not registered and set up for a customer, it's not letting me do that. So I'm just gonna take my cell phone and use Google Maps and give you the stats. So if I want to navigate to Slim Creek rest area from here, where there's a charger, then, let's see, Slim Creek, let's do that again. It says it'll take 145 kilometers, one hour, 42 minutes. And according to Ford, I have 453 kilometers of range. So this is really only under, just under 300, 290 kilometers. So at 453, I should do fine. I'm not gonna speed, I'll probably go, speed limit's 100 kilometers an hour, I'll go maybe 110, and let's see how we do. When we get there, uh, we'll see. So with that said, let's hit this trip and see how she goes, charge up. And if it doesn't work out, I have enough range, I should be able to get there and back. Push that power, oops. Push the power button to get going. Pushing the brake. Put it in gear. Okay, I am pushing on the brake. Okay. Uh, it's not working for me. Let's try it again. All right. I'm gonna push start. I'm gonna start, press the brake, which I am doing and it's not working. I'm not sure why. That's interesting. Have the key fob right here. That's weird. Okay. I had to push the start button again. Here we go. We are heading out to Slim Creek. All right, so we are heading out to Slim Creek in this F-150 Lightning electric truck. Um, the dash says we have 450 kilometers of range, about 96, 95 percent charge. Uh, Slim Creek is 145 kilometers away, so my goal is to drive there and back, see what kind of range we get driving on the highway, and uh, to see if we can charge at Slim Creek. If we can't, should have enough range to get back. Um, should be a pretty cool drive. I'll probably pop up the drone. Get some footage of the charging area with the F-150 and Slim Creek, which is a gorgeous area, gorgeous mountains all around. And yeah, let's uh, check it out. Thank you to Prince George Ford once again for allowing us to use this truck for the weekend for our event in Vanderhoof, which is tomorrow. We'll get more videos on that. And that's it. All right, so we are heading out here on the highway east of Prince George towards Slim Creek. Um, now that I'm up to highway speeds, doing about 100, I'll probably do 105, 110, because the speed limit's 100. My range now says 434. Um, as long as I get about 300 kilometers of range, it should be fine. I'm gonna watch this close. Um, hoping that I, as I drive highway speeds that the range doesn't uh, move too much here, but uh, we will see. And we're heading out east on the highway. And I'll see if I can figure out this Blue Cruise thing. I don't know if it's set up to work, but uh, I'll check it out. And if I do, I'll crack the video on. Here we go. All right, so I just pushed this button here. Well, first of all, I turn on cruise control, then I push this button here. And 
and uh, this seems to be lane keep assist. So I have it set to 110, but dude in front of me is snailing. He's doing under the speed limit, so whatever. I'm just going to leave it for now. Hopefully he'll blast off somewhere here. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Keep hands on steering wheel. I thought this thing would use this stuff here, but I guess not. Um, so I could have hands free, but it's slowing down. Now it's speeding up to my cruise. That's pretty cool. Uh, slow down, speed up. You guys are seeing what it's doing here. But uh, so far so good. It is keeping in the lane, which is pretty neat. And I do have it set to 110. So far my range has 429 kilometers. So far so good. And we will check back a little later on when the view is getting even better with those mountains. All right, so the turn off to Sugar Bowl Trail is right there. And I left town with 96% charge, so not 100%. <clears throat> and I still have 326 kilometers of range. So, uh, yeah, no problem to bring all your ski equipment and everything and head up Sugar Bowl. Viking Ridge is coming up next. Um, and after that, West Driscoll, then Ancient Forest. And after that, Slim Creek. So, gorgeous views here. We're here at Slim Creek. We are going to try out CCS charging. Push on it, pop that bad boy down, and no errors. Let's give this a try. Are we close enough? Oh, we're not close enough. We need to move this truck closer. Epic fail. Do that again. Go forward another couple feet. Right there. And we still have some room, but I'm hoping that's good enough. That's going to be tight. I do need to get closer. And that is a shortfall of these chargers because it's back there. I guess I could come in on the side, but no, I don't want to do that. Another foot should be good. F-150. Be super careful here. Okay, good. The sensors. 
are doing all the work for me. Pop that open. And, all right, let's go in between. And just enough room. Pop that down. And it's in. Let's see what happens. EV connected, preparing, communication, locking connector, isolation test. Sounds like it's starting. Is it? I don't know. Oh, I heard something. Charging. EV is charging. What do we got going over here? Yeah. Little flashing light there. Still had room to get a little closer here, but these cables are pretty short and the chargers are pushed way back. So be aware of that, but we are charging. Success on the first try. And fast charging, 90%, 7.58. So it says in an hour, we'll get to 90% is basically the story here. Uh, any details here on the screen all right guys so I was finally able to push the car then I could see this other menu settings and you can see here charging stats so we're at 72 percent 310 kilometers of range it says status fast charging is there more info uh, is it telling us Anything else? Well, I don't see the speed for some reason. Canada What's with Canada? We got great big cities but a lot of trees and rocks Yeah, the winter's cold here Wear two pairs of socks There's half the world's fresh water To paddle your canoe Or camp along the shoreline It's what we like to do in Canada Ooh, I'm living in Canada Float my boat in Canada Bake my hook in Canada We tend to do things different We each have our routine Some of us eat kubasa Some of us poutine. Oh, poutine But we have traditions That help us stick together Our milk comes in a bag And mosquitoes eat at leisure Playing in a snowsuit the true north strong and free Hockey night on Saturday There on CBC oh, now on sports. In Canada Center ice in Canada Coming to you coast to coast He shoots, he scores in Canada oh, I'm a player in Canada Pronounce the letter R like we're pirates on a ship And we'll drive 2,000 miles for a summer camping trip We wear Sorrells in winter while plugging in the car Alright, so just to point out, we drove 131 kilometers to get to this spot from my house, to Slim Creek And... In Canada. We use 33 
kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. So that's the stats. And I believe we arrived here with we're at 73% now, and I believe we added like 5%, something like that. 5 or 6%, so we were at about 67, let's say 67% when we arrived here. Alright, we're gonna head out. Just because it's there. Cross the great St. Lawrence. Finally found a black bear. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Happy you. Oh, looks like some elk. Politely in cool. Canada. Light up here in Canada. Oh, All right, so we're just heading back Canada. into town. It's George. And we'll be charging now shortly. Every city empties on the 24th of May. It's birthday. And if we say not bad, not bad, we're better than. All right, so we're here. Superstore, and we're going to charge up these hydro chargers. Get ready for our trip tomorrow to the Bandy. The Golden Rule and George is the best place to buy, sell, trade, and play. This cable should be long enough, these are longer. Alright, so we got it plugged in. This hydro station is doing pre charge tests. See how this goes. And you do not have to push the start button when you use the CCS plug because it's done automatically. And we are ramping up. 21 kilowatts. This is a 50 kilowatt charger, so it should ramp up. 43, there we go. Vehicle requested 43, 44, cool. Go. We are charging. Now, curious what it says in here. Anything about the speed? Should be something about the 40s. Not seeing it. Hey everybody, so it's now about quarter after 10. <coughs> Charged up to 90%, 392 kilometers. And my BC Hydro session 67 kilowatt hours, $18.89. And that's how much it costs to charge. And now I'll be ready to hit Vanderhoof tomorrow.